You're here because background noise is killing your video, right? And you want to know how can I get rid of that background noise in my videos using DaVinci Resolve. And you came to me because I'm the DaVinci Resolve audio guy, right? My name's Jason Olavsky. You want some tips about how to work in DaVinci Resolve and especially audio stuff? You're in the right spot. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today, I've got a couple of examples that we're going to be taking a look at on how we can deal with background noise in different ways. Now, some of these methods, you can use the free version, and some of these methods, you're going to need the studio version so that we've got the tools uh, available to us that we want to use. So let's just jump into Resolve. I'm going to show you these examples and how you can try different tips and techniques to deal with your background noise here in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. Jumping into DaVinci Resolve here, the first clip that I have has a real low background noise, okay? I'm going to play through the clip, listen for the background noise, and we're going to talk about it a little bit, and then I'm going to show you how we can take care of it using the free version. So this first tip, you can use the free version, you're going to have the tools we need. So check out this first clip. Sometimes dealing with a little background noise can be a bit of a pain. In this case, I've got a fan running on the other side of my wall over here. I've got dehumidifiers running down in my basement, if I'm quiet for a second. You can kind of hear that in the background. So I'm going to show you how we can take care of some of that minor background noise and help get it out of your videos. All right, so could you hear it in there? If you're listening on maybe a phone or something, maybe you weren't able to hear it, but if you've got some headphones on, some good speakers, you should be able to hear just that low hum in the background uh, of the background noise, and we want to take care of that. So again, you can do it in the free version, and what we're going to need to do is actually jump over into Fairlight to use some of the tools we have available to us over there. So in Resolve, currently I'm in the Edit tab. I'm going to jump over into Fairlight, Musical Notes at the bottom here. So now that we're in Fairlight here, what we want to do is use an expander or a gate to help get rid of some of that low background noise. Now, an expander and a gate are generally going to help remove the background noise between your words, right? So where I'm talking and then I stop and there's a little pause in between my words and phrases, an expander or gate is going to drop the volume automatically uh, of your audio clip in those dead spaces right between where I'm talking. So let me show you how it works here. In order to find the expander or the gate, we're going to want to make sure your mixer is open. So at the top here, make sure you got your mixer open. Then you want to come down to your dynamics, which is right here. If you don't see dynamics, click on the three little dots. You can enable dynamics right here and you should be able to see it. So just go ahead and double click on dynamics on your given track. So now in our dynamics panel here, if we look on the bottom left right here, you can see we have an expander and we have a gate. So let's start with the expander and let me just explain how this works for you real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Now we've got three main buttons up at the top here. The first one is your threshold. So the threshold is going to tell you where do I want the expander to start? Now you can see as I roll it back and forth here, it's going to go to different dB levels. We can see the dB level right here and we can see it right up here. So I'm going to dial this up to say, I don't know, let's try minus 30 dB and we're going to see how that works out. What's going to happen is every time that the volume of our audio clip clip gets below minus 30 dB, it's going to drop the volume even more. So right now we look at the uh, the graph here and we can see it's a little bit you know quicker that it's going to drop off. But if we come to our ratio, you see we can have the volume of our audio clip drop off a whole lot quicker than waiting it to go on its normal curve down to zero dB, right? And that's what's going to allow the volume of those parts in between where I'm speaking to drop down and get a little quieter. So I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. Maybe I'll just go like that, bring it back to about 60. We're going to set this at about 30 for right now. We're going to see how it sounds. I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to play through the part where I had a longer silence break. So hopefully you guys can hear it a little better. So um, let's just turn it on and we're going to play through it and see if it gets rid of that background noise, just that low hum and hiss in there. Now we're going to be able to tell that it's actually doing its job if we see this meter right here lit up, right? Currently, I'm not playing through the clip, but it's lit up. So we can see we're getting a reduction in volume for everything that is quieter than minus 30 dB. I hope that's clear. Let's play through this example, see if you can hear the difference. Oh, I was on the wrong track. You know what? You always got to make sure you're on the right track. See, even us pros mess up. All right, so I was on the wrong one there. I'm going to close this. I'm going to actually open the dynamics on my track one. I'm going to turn on my expander, dial this up to about minus 30 dB, and bring this back to where we had it. All right, now let's play through the clip, and now you should be able to hear it. And if I'm quiet for a second... You can kind of hear that in the background, so I'm going to show Okay, so could you hear it working there? Now, let me play with it off. You can hear the difference. Just a minute if I'm quiet for a second. And we can see it right here, right, on our dynamics uh, graph. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on, 
and listen to the difference it made. I'm quiet for a second. So it's reducing it minus 14 dB, a little bit more, in that section where I'm not speaking. So it's effectively getting rid of that background noise or suppressing it, bringing it down even more. So the expander is a great tool and it's going to work and do a great job with this kind of background noise. Now you can come in here and adjust your attack hold and release if you want. I'm not going to dig into that too much now because I don't want to overcomplicate it for you guys. But if you just worry about adjusting your threshold and your ratio with the expander, you can, you can really get rid of a lot of that low level background noise and it shouldn't affect your clip too much. Now, if you find that it's sounding a little bit stuttery, right? So if I just play through this here, let's say I had it up too high and it sounds like this. A bit of a pain. In this case, I've got a fan running on the... Right? It sounds a little jittery, right? Because it's coming in and it's cutting off too much. So in that case, you would need to dial back your threshold, make it a little bit lower because you only want to catch that background noise, right? We don't want to catch any of our dialogue in our audio. So you want to dial that back a little bit like this. The other side of my wall over here, I've got dehumidifiers running down in my basement. If I'm That's a really quick and really easy way to apply something to the entire track. Put that expander on there. It's going to reduce those uh, volume of any of that low level background noise that's going to come up and be heard in between your words. Now you can use a gate and a gate does essentially the same thing. It just allows you to chop that sound off even quicker. So if I click to gate, you can see right after the threshold, boom, it drops down a whole lot more, a whole lot quicker. So a gate is exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's like a gate and it says, hey, my gate's closed. Unless your volume or your audio levels is above whatever my threshold is set at. So in this case, I'm set at minus 30 dB. So once that audio, my dialogue is louder than 30 dB, the gate opens, lets that through. Anything quieter than that 30 dB, that gate is closed and you're not gonna be able to hear anything or you're gonna hear very little of it depending on how you make your settings here or adjust your settings here. So expander, I use it all the time. It is a really great tool to apply to your clip. It doesn't use a lot of processing power. It just gets rid of that little bit of background noise that you want to get out of your video clips. So expander and gate a lot of times is my first go-to. They're great. They're really good. I use them all the time. Now let's get into our second example here. This one is going to be a situation that I would guarantee almost everybody has run into. And that is where we have so much background noise we just need to get rid of it, right? Maybe I want to take all of it out. In this example, you're going to see I got an air conditioning going. Maybe you have wind noise. Maybe you've got, um, I don't know, some other kind of loud noise that's just messing up your audio and you want to get rid of it. For this one, you're going to need the studio version, but let's play through the clip first and then we'll talk about the tip on how to get rid of the background noise. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. Sometimes there are some noises like this air conditioner that I want to completely remove from the background and we can do that in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to show you how to do it using this clip here, but then other times we may want to keep a little bit of that background noise. I'll show you that in the next clip, but for now, let's get rid of this air conditioning noise. All right, the dreaded air conditioner or other loud noise that's really messing up your audio. We're going to use the voice isolation here in DaVinci Resolve to be able to do that. Now, it is a studio-only feature, so you're going to need studio to do it. But I'll tell you, I mean, if you guys don't have studio yet, if you can save up that $295, uh, US dollars anyway, to get studio, little tools like this just make it worth the $295 one-time fee. Little plug for Blackmagic because... I love their stuff. I mean, come on, I got a whole channel about their stuff. So let's go ahead and we're going to apply voice isolation on a track level here. You could do it on a clip level or a track level, but I find that I'm generally going to have more than one clip where I have this problem. So I'll put those clips in a individual track, kind of like I have right here. And then I'm going to either go into uh, the inspector or the mixer. And since I'm in Fairlight, I'm going to use the mixer. And right here, we've got voice isolation. I can just turn it on like that, give it a second. And now voice isolation is on and you're gonna hear the difference. Um, the other way that you can do it, if you're in the edit tab or even here in Fairlight, as long as you select the track, the entire track like this and it's highlighted, you can come to your inspector and turn on voice isolation right here. And that is also gonna do it on an entire track level, right? Versus if I just select my clip like this, now voice isolation, you can see it's not on for the clip, but I can turn it on for the individual clip. But like I said, we're doing it on a track level here because that's the way generally I, I do it for, for the most part. So I'm going to go ahead and um, turn on our voice isolation. Just close my inspector because I can actually access it right here. I'm going to open up my controls. Now, as I play through the clip, I'm going to listen to it. And you may not need this up at 100%. And a matter of fact, a lot of times you don't need it at 100%. So I would dial it back if if you don't need it there. But let's listen to the clip. We're going to start at 100. We're going to dial it back as, as we need until it sounds the way I want it to. So here we go. 
Sometimes there are some noises like this air conditioner that I want to completely remove from the background. And we can do that in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to show you how to do it using this clip here. But then other times we may want to keep a little bit of that background noise. I'll show you that in the next clip. But All right. So I dialed it back to about 75, 76%, something like that, because there wasn't much a difference between that and 100%. And I don't want to add extra artifacting to my voice. So works really good. Voice isolation is a phenomenal tool here in DaVinci Resolve to get rid of that background noise. And if you have studio, I mean, you could just go ahead and use this like in the first example too, um, if you want it, right? Because if you tried to use an expander or gate in this situation, it's really not going to do the job that you're looking to, to get rid of that air conditioner noise. In this case, it's not going to get rid of that stuff for you. Um, so voice isolation here, awesome, awesome tool. The AI is great and it does a really good job um, at removing music from the background, air conditioners, all kinds of stuff. It does a really good job. So voice isolation, it's awesome. Use it because it does a great job. It is only in the studio version though. Let's jump into our third example here. Now, sometimes you want a little bit of background noise. You don't want to get rid of it completely, right? Because if I get rid of it completely, it kind of doesn't look right on the screen, at least to me anyway, right? So in this example, I'm walking on a sidewalk. There's a street with cars going in the background. Now, if I just took all the cars out, it would look a little odd because you would see them, but you wouldn't hear them, right? And you know, I'm not in a vacuum, right? I'm not in like my studio where there's no other noise. So we're going to use the voice isolation again here to reduce the background noise, but not eliminate it. A lot of different ways you can use that voice isolation. Let's roll the clip here, check it out. And then I'm going to show you how we can get it to sound a little bit better and really make the dialogue a little bit clearer. So here we go. Now, sometimes you want to keep some of that background noise. Like I want the road noise to be in there because I don't want it to sound like I'm in the middle of nothing. When you see cars, you're going to notice that you hear that sound. So we want to keep a little bit of that in there and maybe just make it not quite as loud as it is. The cars were a little bit loud. I just want to bring them back a little bit, right? So again, I'm going to use the voice isolation here and I'm going to show you how the expander and gate work in this situation too. Not as good, but you can try it. And the other thing I do want to mention is that there is a built-in noise reduction effect here in DaVinci Resolve. So if I show you that real quick, um, if you come to your mixer, your effects, you want to come down to restoration, fair light effects, we have noise reduction. So you guys may have seen this before. Now, I've tried this thing a whole bunch of times and I just don't think it works good in my situations and, and the things that, that I've tried to use it for. It just, it just doesn't work good. But now that we've got the voice isolation, I'm always going to go with the voice isolation over using this noise reduction because for me, it just, it, it never does a good job. It creates artifacting and I was just never happy with it. So, um, so I never really used it as it was, but I mean, you guys can try it. It may work for you. Um, I'm not even going to bother trying it here because I just, I don't use it. So let's go ahead and apply our voice isolation though onto this track. So I'll come back to the beginning of my clip here. I'm going to delete our uh, noise reduction there. Turn on my voice isolation. And now what I want to do is actually start with my voice isolation at zero. So I'm going to bring it all the way down and I'm going to just raise it up and apply the voice isolation little by little until it brings down that car noise a little bit, right? I just don't want it to be as loud, but I still want you to hear it. And it's pretty amazing how well this works. So let's go ahead and play through it and uh, check this out. Now, sometimes you want to keep some of that background noise. Like I want the road noise to be in there because I don't want it to sound like I'm in the middle of nothing. When you see cars, you're going to notice that you hear that sound. So we want to keep a little bit of that in there and maybe just make it not quite as loud as it is. All right, so could you hear the difference there? I, as soon as I bumped it up to about 15%, you could really hear the difference, at least with me and my headphones. Hopefully you got some good headphones, you can hear that difference. Um, but a little bit of voice isolation there is just gonna bring down that background noise and make the voice and the dialogue stand out a little bit more. Now a quick, let me just do a quick before and after here, hear the difference. Keep a little bit of that in there and maybe just make it not quite. All right, so 20% I think is good. That's going to be good enough to to make the dialogue stand out, and I'm I'm happy with that. Twenty percent. That's all you needed. You could probably even do a little less. Could do a little bit more, but I wouldn't want to crank it all the way up because then it's just going to look odd, kind of like this. A little bit of that in there, and maybe just make it not quite as loud. Right? It just doesn't look right. Doesn't sound right. It doesn't look right. So I would set that voice isolation to around 20% and that's going to do a good job of just suppressing that background noise for you a little bit. Now, just to show you, I'm going to turn off the voice isolation here just to show you if we tried it with an expander or a gate, 
it's not going to work as good, but we'll we'll throw it on there. We'll try it. I'm going to bring this up to say 28 dB. We're going to drop it down a little bit quicker. Let's see if it makes a difference here. Now, sometimes you want to keep some of that background noise. Like I want the road noise to be in there because I don't want it to sound like I'm in the middle of nothing. When you see cars, you're going to notice that you hear that sound. So we want to keep a little bit of that in there and maybe just make See, so the expander there and the gate's gonna work the same. It's really not gonna do a good job for you. It might help reduce some of that background noise in between our words when we say something, stop, and then say something again. But overall, it's not gonna bring it all down, right? Bring, that, bring down that background noise like the voice isolation does. And just a quick mention, there are a lot of other good third-party plugins that do a great job with some of the background uh, noise reduction or like voice isolation type of tools. I'm not gonna cover them in this video, but they are out there. I do have some videos about them on my channel, but the built-in tools here in Resolve can really do a great job. And from what I've seen, in most cases, they're gonna be able to take care of that background noise, especially that voice isolation. Really, really good job that it does. AI is awesome in that, and um, I, I, I'm super excited that they added that in there as a standard feature. And a side note, um, the voice isolation in the dialogue leveler, they used to have a little delay when you would play back your video, but now that's fixed um, as of the last version of Resolve, the last full release. Uh, I found that everything works fine now. There's no delay when I start to play back my video. Everything works good. So hopefully that's the case for you. If you're having problems, make sure you're updated to the most current version of Resolve there. And you shouldn't have that little bit of delay and pause uh, when you're playing back your voice isolation and your dialogue leveler. With that said, guys, if you've got questions, leave a comment down below. I try and answer it the best that I can. If you want to see any other videos related to this topic, let me know. Guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you learned a little something, hit that bell for me. Oh, subscribe. Subscribe and hit that bell for me. Cool. Thanks, guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace.